All right. <clears throat> so, here is my game of three-dimensional tic-tac-toe called Tic-Tac-Cubed, written with an exponent. Um, it is a 3x3x3 three by three by three uh, LED array of RGB LEDs, red, green, and blue, and each one of these can be individually controlled by an Arduino Decimilia underneath, which is powered by uh, a 9 volt battery with a 5 volt regulator and the information is written on an AT Mega 1, uh, 168 uh, programmable processor uh, running at I think 16 megahertz. Um, it's got a USB chip so that you can communicate and program it over USB. It has uh, 19 programmable pins which can uh, read and write to all, which you can read and write to all of them. Uh, the entire setup is made, see the 9 volt right here, so that all the pins that are on this circuit board right here will correspond with the plugs on the Arduino board. So, instead of having many, many jumper wires that go across to the board, the entire setup will simply just press right in and it stays. And then you just close the uh, the hinge so that fingers don't interrupt and mess with the uh, the board because it's quite sensitive. Uh, it's got a uh, single push button, little green selector button, like that. Um, a potentiometer knot with a uh, really awesome knob on it. Awesome. And a reset button on the back. Uh, it's got a barrel jack that just connects straight to the 9 volt. <clears throat> Runs through the 5 volt regulator to power the whole device. So I plug it in, load it up the code, and there we go. As you can see, it's displaying the selector uh, blue LED. Um, it seems really bright in the video, but it actually isn't. Um, it's a good brightness, it's not like overwhelming. Um, these are all hand frosted, so uh, instead of shining straight through, it, it reflects on the inside and appears to actually really glow blue. Um, to select the LED to play the game, you simply turn the knob, just like this, and it will scroll through all of the 27 lights, just like that. And then to make your selection, you press the button, like that. As you can see, it stays lit. That's because there's a thing called an interrupt where it reads, uh, or where it triggers every two milliseconds what's called a function. Function. And a function is essentially a snippet of code in a, neat, in a neat little package with a name. So this interrupt will call that name and then it will run the code inside that little package. So right now there are three arrays, what's called an array is a set of values. There are three of them, of three sets of 27. Now, there's one set for each color, red, green, and blue, and 27 lights. So when I press the button, it wrote a value of high to the, uh, the array in the blue, uh, the blue array in position 27. Position 1 is down here. So it'll read every two milliseconds, flash this light blue, quickly turn it off, move on to the next light and check if there's anything there. And then it constantly goes through this every two milliseconds. So if I, uh, if I write a uh, red value to this position, it will stay red. Now, the thing with the uh, colors is that if you have the same color in the same row, stack, or um, other row, uh, if you have two different colors on at the same time, they will mix and then they will turn, like for example if I had blue here and red here or red right there, they will then mix and then turn purple, which is not what I'm wanting. So it's quickly flashing through each of these. 
every two milliseconds. It's faster than the eye can see and faster than this camera can pick up. So these lights appear to be solid colors, just like that. So now I can select, since it's Blue's turn, I'm going to go in the corner. Okay. Uh, now, because I'm up here and I'm down here, and this is 3D tic-tac-toe, I can win in any direction, up, down, left, right, through the cube, across the cube, straight up, diagonal, like this, in any direction. So, I'm going to put red here and then he'll be blocked. Oh. Um, now that it's blue, Blue's turn again, I can go, say, over here. Now watch that. Corner, corner, corner in blue. I could go here or here. This one's already taken, so I can't. So I could get three in a row here or here. So no matter where red goes, if red goes here or down in the bottom like that, I can still win. Boom. Now every time one presses the button, it checks all three arrays for any of the 50 different combinations of wins of three in a row. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, one, four, seven, blah, 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 whatever numbers are in the right arrangement to make three in a row in a three-dimensional cube like such. And then if, the, if any of those values are true for the same array, so if red has the, uh, gets three in a row up here, it'll read that, and then it'll say, hey, somebody won, and then it'll check which turn it is, and then it'll flash their color, just like this. Red. Red wins. And then it clears the, uh, the array and then resets itself. So then you can play over and over and over and over again. Hooray! Now, the other option, when you turn on the game, if you notice there's the little notch right here, notch up here and a little tick mark right there. Uh, if it's past center line in this direction, it is in two-player mode. If there, if it's past center in this direction, that way, then it will be in three-player mode, signified by a green flash on this light. Watch. Oh, maybe that was, I'll do that again. Just like that. See, I can keep hitting reset, and it'll keep doing that. Just like that. I don't know, the camera's not, not fast enough to really pick that up. But there's a definite green flash. Trust me. Um, uh, so, now you have blue, red, and green as options. So now anybody can win. Just like this. And you can also team up with other people, well, kind of team up, so that you can prevent others from winning, as well as try and get a win yourself. So it's kind of a debate between letting somebody else win or winning yourself. So, uh, that's the three-player mode in uh, Tic Tac Cubed. Thanks for watching.